Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Mario Kart 7. Today, we are hopping back into some more Grand Prix, the last two cups for 100cc. It has been quite the challenge getting here, but I feel like we're getting better at the game. We're slowly making it through better every single time. So the last two cups here for 100cc are gonna be a little bit high pressure, but we have, of course, another character showcase. It is Koopa Troopa. Koopa seems pretty ready to get into the action. We're gonna start everything nice and standard here with the standard cart, tires, and super glider. Koopa Troopa has a green coloring with the yellow underbelly, just like him. It fits pretty well. But uh, let's go ahead and move in with this one with the Leaf Cup, which has Calamari Desert, DK Pass, Daisy Cruiser, and Maple Tree Wag. All right. So we went pretty well with everything in the previous set of the retro courses here at 100cc. We won every single one of the retro cup races. Can we win the rest of them though? We're only halfway through. Here comes the second half. Karmari Desert's a pretty tough one. I feel like it's one of those tracks that once people sort of get ahead of you, it's hard to catch up because there's not a ton of drifting you can do. Pretty wide turns and everything. We'll see how it goes. I'll go ahead and grab an extra coin there, and we got the the tail here. Maybe he used it a little too soon, but they're right behind me, so you never know. We'll just be trying our best. Watch out for the train. We got a bit of a traffic jam. We gotta watch out for the the incoming trains here at Calamari Desert. Because if it's me versus a train, I think the train's gonna win. All right, let's just keep drifting through this big turn. And it looks like we're, we are building up a bit of a lead. We gotta keep it that way. And if a bunch of items get thrown out here, that's where things will definitely get tough. We're up to 10 coins now, which will definitely make a bit of a difference. My chances of getting a mushroom, of course, in first place are a little low. So I might just wanna spread around some bananas here and there and see if our competition runs into them. Right now it looks like Princess Peach and Luigi are our rivals, but ooh, look at this. I was able to beat out the train, but the competition wasn't. That's a huge opportunity for me. As long as I don't get, you know, blasted by a bunch of items here, I could take this opportunity to really get ahead. And that's certainly what I wanna try here. So really lucky for me that it looks like we'll be able to pull ahead. Okay, lap three out of three. Koopa Troopa's really trying to go here. Let's do a big trick there. The train's coming in. Gonna be able to avoid it. I can't see anything right now, but there we go. Now we're moving. And I'll throw that backwards. Oh no. Ooh. Didn't really land on that super well, but it's okay. Let's take a look. Yeah, we're pretty far ahead. Unless we get totally bombarded by items in this last few moments. I think we're good. Ah, there comes the lightning. Here it is. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Uh oh, we still are in a good lead though, especially since everybody else got lightning as well. We're fine. I'm not gonna have 10 coins instead, I'll just have nine. But that's still a decent finish. A win for Calamari Desert for Koopa Troopa. Things are turning pretty well. So there we go. 10 points. Let's move to the next one. And the next one's DK Pass. Now that we know that there's that triple mushroom item block, I really wanna try to use that to my advantage. If I can snag it on the first lap, I can maybe use it just to you know, get farther and farther ahead with the consecutive laps. We'll have to see if it works out that way, but I'm definitely willing to try here in the second race of the Leaf Cup. Here we go. All right now, I'll just try to pick up some of those, <laughs> at least a little bit. Lots of drifting to do around here. Oh man, but when I get a mushroom in first place as well, how fortunate is that? So it should be, not here, not here. It's way up there. You can see it sort of in the distance. That's the one I'm looking for. So let's avoid all of that. And what we can do is we can turn over here. And if I mushroom boost, I wanna make sure I'm actually gonna hit it and I don't just fly right by it. But, um, oh no, this time we get a superstar. Last time it was a triple mushroom. This time a superstar. Hmm, I don't know exactly when I want to use it, but I guess if I want to be really strategic, I'd want to save it to see if maybe I could just uh, avoid a blue shell, but that's sort of the problem, right? Is that you don't really know. 
Will I get hit by a blue shell or a lightning? A lightning is gonna clear out my items, make everything not so good. I guess we'll have to wait and see just a moment. If I could just rush over. I have a green shell is coming in, oh my. Uh, we survived it. We're almost there, I'm just drifting through as much as I can. Ooh, watch out for the banana. So we're gonna try for it again. Just like this. Get the superstar, oh, I missed it. Ah, whatever. <laughs> okay, that's a shame. Not quite what I wanted, but still able to use the opportunity to get ahead, and that's always good. I have the banana now. So we'll just keep things nice and simple. I mean, we have the lead. We have 10 coins. That's what I was after by the end of it is just, you know, a lead so that we can win the race. Yoshi and Luigi though, still trying to keep up with us. Here comes that blue shell. Imagine if I have the superstar for that. How crazy would that be in first place? Yoshi's gonna take the lead for now, but not for long. I hope, here, let's grab that item. What do I get, I get a red shell? I take the lead right after, so it might not be so useful. Just gonna keep it moving. What do I get for my other secondary item? Gonna be a Tanuki leaf. All right, here we go. I can't see what's going on. Oh man, we're fine, we're fine. Just keep going like that. I think we're in a good spot here. Once again, just like with the last lap, as long as disaster doesn't strike, well, you can, oh no. I was gonna say, you can really skip a lot there. I guess you really can't. It's okay, lesson learned. We're still winning this one for sure. They're trying to come in here, but nope. Another first place finish for Koopa Troopa. That's two for two so far, but still so much more left to go. So with 20 points in total, let's move on to our next race and see how it goes. This one's gonna be Daisy Cruiser. All right. I think we'll be able to keep up with this one pretty well. It's a, it's a fairly simple track, but you never know. It sort of is just like a figure eight, but it's just, you can't really tell from looking at it. All right. We'll go into the water here. I don't know if there's any coins down here. Doesn't seem like it. But hey, I get the triple banana. We can get ahead a little bit here and I'll pick up one, two, three of those coins. Last time we were on this track and we got hit by these tables quite often. <laughs> really hard to avoid them. We got some other racers here. Are they on a different level there? It seems like I didn't see them. But the, the things that I lost second place. I was back in second place. Is there like an above ground section there? Or you don't have to deal with the, because I mean, we're always above ground here while we're on a ship. But uh, you know what I mean, it's just, it, I don't know. I didn't really see them there. Okay, let's grab that. And I definitely need to build up some coins. Oh, come on, Yoshi. Maybe there's a different path here that I'm not aware of. Maybe I just didn't see them. Maybe they just went on the outside like this. I think that's what they did. Hard to tell for sure. I sort of want to wait and see. Okay, no, I think that's just the case. Because on the on the second screen, it makes it sort of seem like they're going outside somehow. But I think we're fine just to go over here like this. Can't see a darn thing right now. I'm able to jump up here and Get back to drifting three out of three. Making some good progress. I need a few more coins though. We wanna win this. One, two, and, oh, okay, two's good. I need two more. Right here. See, it might be safer to do this. I guess that's what they're doing. Interesting, I thought the outside would have been slower. Or at least it would like slow me down. But so far, it doesn't seem to be the case. Okay, boosting through here, huge jump. And we are pretty firmly in the lead, so let's just toss around some bananas for fun. Make it really difficult for them. And boom, another first place finish. 
I don't know why the retro courses have been going so much better than the modern ones. It really might just be that I'm just that much more comfortable with the lightweight characters, you know? That might be the case. We still have one more course left for this cup. Let's give it a try. All right, the Maple Treeway track is our last one for the Leaf Cup. This can certainly get interesting. It's a complicated track. I feel like in Mario Kart Wii, I got hit by blue shells all the time on this one. We'll see if that tradition continues a little bit more here in Mario Kart 7. Right now, I'm fully focused on just, you know, getting some good drifts, just like that. And triple banana, but I am sort of falling back of the pack a little bit. I don't know if I mind too much. If there's a few racers in front of me, maybe they can hit the leaf pile and get me a free mushroom. Whoa, <laughs> instead I might get hit by a banana. What do I get this time? I'm gonna cut Mario off a little bit. Not quite able to hit him with the bananas. I get a coin out of that. Oh, almost another coin. We are drifting right there. And then definitely pick up a couple of coins here. One, two, and ah, couldn't quite get the other one. That's fine. I do see that there is a mushroom up there, so if we can loop around, might be able to get that. I'm throwing this back. It's gotta hit somebody. <laughs> Looks like we're gliding. Whoa, okay, okay, hold on. I did not mean to dive down like that. It can get pretty tough to control the glider. It's a pretty, you know, hard to make the right turns or to not crash into a wall. Here comes the blue shell, so just throw whatever items I got, and I get a mushroom. Okay, was not expecting that. Sort of wish I could have gotten that before the shortcut we just passed, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. I can make something happen with this mushroom for sure. Ooh, speaking of mushrooms, okay, the game's being so kind, I missed out on a superstar, though. Oh, it looks like Princess Peach got it, so that's a little bit scary. I gotta be real careful about how we do this, but I don't know where the mushroom went. Maybe it was actually on a lower level. Princess Peach is really trying to catch up to me at the moment. I wanna grab, ooh. See, here's my chance. I don't think you can dodge it. <laughs> it looked like you could, I pressed it right as it tried to slam, slam down, but no dice. Wasn't quite able to make it happen. I got the red shell now, that can definitely be used here. Dude, watch it, throwing it out right now. Whoa, that thing is flying. <laughs> should get Princess Peach here. It doesn't, she must have had an item. We're heading into the final lap, I'm a little bit worried. Let's drift around and really just try to catch ya. Oh no, there go my items. I can steal one of those coins that you dropped. Come on, go Koopa, go. This is the last character we had to showcase out of the uh, starting eight characters. So after this, it's all characters that we've unlocked along the way, which right now is just the me character, but we'll be unlocking more soon enough. So let's focus on this a little bit. I, yep, I heard something coming, but we were able to avoid it. I need to try to make this drift work out for me, so boom, we're back up the 10 coins. I got a green shell to protect me. We got this, the last stretch of the race coming in. Here we go. Okay, okay, got it, got it, we're good. We win the entire cup, first place every time. That's what I'm talking about. So 40 points in total for Koopa Troopa. Very nice. All right, let's see what's next. Let's see our victory celebration. All right, so Yoshi and Luigi. We got the green team combo trying to beat us, but Koopa Troopa finds a way through. Always great to see us popping back on top with a lightweight character like this. Yeah, that was overall pretty fun. Definitely a fun cup, and that means we have one more cup remaining here in 100cc. But first off, we have our Leaf Cup Golden Trophy with the three golden stars. That's what I'm talking about. Awesome. So with that all finished up, we have that last cup waiting for us. Let's go get it. Back in Grand Prix, 100cc with Koopa Troopa, but 
we're using a different car combo this time. What are our options for different carts here? I could give an additional go at the egg. We got egg one. Um, before I did the tiny tires with it, I sort of want to try big tires with it maybe. Hmm, maybe just normal. The standard tires look really cool with it. But besides that, nothing else here that's all that new. Maybe I'll do it with the swooper. And we'll move over to the 100cc Lightning Cup with Koopa Cape, Dino Dino Jungle, Airship Fortress, and Rainbow Road. All right, here comes Koopa Cape. We're playing the most fitting character for such a track. This is, you know, the, the epitome of home field advantage, right? Is this where all the Koopas come from? Who knows? All right, let's get to it then. Determined to win this race and all the other ones in this cup so that we can say we want everything in the retro. Horses for 100cc at the least. Okay, DK, that was a little rude, but I'm just right back into the action we're in. 50s for now, which if I can run into an item, just barely hit by the outskirts of that bob bomb. There we go, there we go. Uh, I want to do that. I just get a green shell for, what was it? Fourth or fifth place? That was not ideal. <laughs> I mean, I guess, you know, Koopa Troopa, Koopa Shell on Koopa Cape. Lots of Koopa action here. But I need this item. What hit me, what? I didn't see anything. That was really weird. Um. Anyways, green shell there. Ah, oh, not quite gonna reach ya. Thing's gonna fly out, actually. And then I can switch over to this and then just swipe ya. There you go. Maybe it was a cheap, cheap that hit. Because I don't think that we were in a spot where a shell or an item could have just been sitting there. I don't know, it's very bizarre. But unfortunately, maybe using my Tanuki tail too soon, I'm gonna get hit by that red shell. Not much I can do about it. Uh, not another, are you serious? Uh-oh, this ain't good. Come on, Koopa. They're giving us a hard time. That doesn't mean we can't bounce back here. Somehow back and first, I'm a little confused. Where did everybody go? But, I'll drift through that, get back to gliding, or not. That was really weird. I want to cut that corner a little bit. I have a red shell. Got it, okay. Um, just gotta keep it moving, and I get zapped by lightning. This game does not want me having a single coin. All right, back to it. Just gotta keep going, a little bit more at a time, right? This is just the second lap. So we have what feels like so much more left to go here. Ooh, nice, and boosting along there. Real good. Here comes a red shell. I'm prepared for it this time. I finally have an item at the ready. Never mind. <laughs> Doesn't really change much. Interesting that the Goomba also got zapped by the lightning there, it looked like. Nobody's safe from it. Holding this out. Whoa. That was pretty cool, actually, but that, not so much. Seems as though I've built up a good lead here. Yeah, definitely. I really don't know how that happened because I was certainly uh, in the mix with them a lot. I feel like I didn't actually make a lot of good moves, but here I am with a lead. Keep it going now. Blue Shell could still hit at any moment. But if I throw this over here, boom, come on, come on, come on, and boom, we got it. Koopa Troopa winning on Koopa Cape. So fitting. That's some good stuff right there. 10 points for this cup, and we're good to move on to the next one. All right, Dino Dino Jungle. This one can certainly get complicated. We had a weird sort of moment of bad luck on this course at 50cc. So I don't know how things are gonna go here for 100. But we are a bit familiar with the shortcuts now, so that'll be good. And a really good start, too, so. Let's get another race one. 
not getting the trick off of that one for some reason, but still got a couple of coins out of it. I have this leaf as well. Yeah, my turning angle wasn't the best there, so I can't get the little shortcut. That's okay. I have this leaf that I'll try to save for when I really need it. But at the same time, I'd rather sort of have another item besides it. I feel like the leaf can be good if you already know there's an item heading towards you. I feel like it's a better second or third place item than it is a first place item. Excuse me, Mr. Dino, I didn't mean to hit you like that, I'm so sorry. go. First lap turning out pretty decent. They're not too far behind me though. I definitely gotta be careful. I threw out a couple of bananas. I drift through like that. Oh, I get struck by lightning. Right as I was about to hit 10 coins. Oh, and then into a banana. That was very likely my banana. But I'll drift through this part. There we go. I definitely think that has to be the fastest route through this whole boardwalk section. Have a banana at the ready. And jump through like that. That was pretty good. I think I want to go under here. Whoa, watch it, Dino. Watch it, Blooper. Everything's getting a little scary around here. I feel like the difficulty sort of jumped back down with the retro courses so far. It's really weird, like I don't wanna say that and then have bad things happen, but I just don't know why we're suddenly keeping ahead of everything so much more easily than we were with the modern courses. Uh-oh, okay, they heard me, they heard me. They're not happy about it, but luckily I'm not too far from a speed boost, so I can catch back up just like that for all the spaces that could have gotten hit by the blue shell there, that wasn't too bad of a choice, you know? Okay, lightning, maybe a little bit of a different story. We're still really far in the lead. And I will get through this as much as I can. Another leaf that I just really don't need. Getting down here, got it. And the last stretch for this lap. It's going pretty well, got it. Lots of tricks, and boom, another track finished up. Koopa's zooming through it so far. That's 20 points now for this cup. Let's move on to the second half and see if we can't get two more wins. So the Airship Fortress is our next one for Mario Kart DS. We did pretty well here in 50. I think we'll do fine enough at 100. This one, it really is pretty reliant on just, you know, good drifting and stuff, which with our current card setup and our current character, I think that should be A-OK. -okay. All right, get a trick off of there right away as we dodge all these, whoa, bonsai bills. Out of the way, everybody, we got a place to be, and it's the checkered finish line in first place. Hold this banana out as soon as I can and collect a few coins. Oh man, got it, got it, got it. Let's keep going. I just want to boost my way up here to the spiral section. Should go pretty well. I probably yeah, just want to get onto the ground as soon as possible. All right, and I will hold out this Koopa shell as we zigzag our way through this part for some extra coins. Uh-oh, ooh, that was sort of scary. This bonsai bill blaster really trying to get us. Uh oh, ooh, I hit them with the green shell or something. That was sort of weird. I'm glad they just, you know, didn't hit me. I was hoping for an item there. Not quite getting one, avoiding all the flame thrusters there too. So many hazards to avoid. All right, they're not too far behind me this time. I can't really, you know, afford to make any major mistakes here. But I do have all 10 coins that I needed. 
that was pretty good. Make sure we're doing our tricks. Whoa, is that an extra size bonsai bill there? It looks like that one was bigger than the rest of them. Interesting. Didn't know that there was one that was like that. Ooh, ow, right into you guys. Not what I wanted. Okay, they are catching up a lot because of that. I gotta be careful here. Definitely a big mistake to make on the final lap. But I do get more bananas, so maybe I can just get something happening there. Right back down. Lots of good drifts. I can't see a darn thing. Oh no! Come on, I couldn't see. But luckily we got brought right in front of the finish line, so we'll be okay. Oh man, that was scary. That was truly scary. All right, 30 points, which means we have one more course left. Can we make it a win? I sure hope so. So it's the classic Rainbow Road. This track was challenging for us even at 50. I ran into the thwomps a bunch of times. So there's a good chance, you know, things could go disastrously here. I need to stay on top of it, make some good drifts, and just hope we turn out okay, you know? Here's the final race. But if we do, we have finished 100cc. So let's get to it. All right. So, got a little trick off of that one. Lots of coins around, so I definitely want to try to get to a a good 10 coins pretty early on if I can manage, but also just mostly focused on good drifting. Uh-oh, <laughs> speaking of good drifting, I almost just drift right off the side of the track. Oh, gotta be careful about this one. I had a feeling he was about to slam on me, but didn't quite. Okay, got a trick off of that. I didn't mean to do what I just did. But already in the lap two. Looks like a lot of the competition is getting pretty far behind me. I think I could, yeah, do that one. Drift through this part. Nice. Didn't get any trick off of that, except for that one, the one I wasn't expecting, which makes me fly off the track. Darn, Luigi's closing in now. I gotta be careful. But I can hold a Koopa shell, just like that. These two are gonna slam. It's so hard to fit in between them. Cards sort of feel a little wider in this game. All right. Come on, what do I get? Triple banana is really nice. Now jump through like that, get 10 coins now. Fantastic. Didn't mess that one up, which is also good. I'm slowly back in the lead again. I'm gonna go this way, whichever way is gonna be safer for avoiding nonsense. And just try to, oh, come on, I swear. It is so difficult to get in between them. But we find a way, squish or not, to finish this race with a win. Man. Well, there we have it. A first place finish for all of the Retro Cup courses in 100cc. Didn't go so well for modern, but retro, that's where all the speed is at apparently. That's where we were able to just speed through everything, no problem. But of course, we have a victory celebration here. Yoshi and DK really trying to keep up with me, even though I feel like I saw Luigi more than anyone. That's a little bit weird. Yep, Yoshi got third, DK got second, and Koopa Troopa taking home the golden trophy two times in a row. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so let's see this final trophy for 100cc. It is the Golden Lightning Cup trophy, and we got three stars for every classic cup here. It's great. And we've collected 500 coins, which means there's a brand new cart customization option that has been unlocked. All right, happy to see that too. I think it's gonna play the credits again? Which is so weird. It played the credits at the end of the Modern Cups too. Why do we get two credits per difficulty now? We didn't get that for 50. We got that here for 100. A little weird, I don't think we need to see it again because it's the same thing again. I was gonna give you the, yeah, thanks for playing. Maybe this will change if we unlock new characters. We'll find out soon enough as we play through 150 CC, but 
That should be it there. And we're back to the main menu. We have finished 50 and 100, getting a gold trophy in every single one of the Grand Prix Cups. But we're only halfway done. We have 150 in Mirror up next, starting with 150 in the next episode of Mario Kart 7. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.